Hello and welcome to our tutorial. My name is Mike. I am the owner and founder of Windows7Forums.com and today we will be discussing how to do a clean install of Windows 7. In this uh, presentation we will be using Windows 7 Ultimate Edition as our software installation and what we will do is install the installation media into our CD-ROM drive and from there we will boot from CD as you can see that is already occurring what's happening now is we are choosing our language which is English in this case United States we are hitting next and we are installing now setup is starting The installation of Windows 7 is very easy. We agree to the end user license agreement for Windows 7 and instead of performing an upgrade which is impossible from booting we will actually go ahead and do a clean install uh, using un unallocated disk space and we don't have to worry about any file formatting or partitioning on a clean drive. Windows will handle everything Windows will also begin the copying of files to begin the installation. It's very important to note that when you do install Windows 7 under a clean install scenario, you are losing all of the files that may have existed either on Windows XP or on Windows Vista. Furthermore, in order to boot from the Windows 7 DVD media, you will need to change the option in your BIOS to boot from DVD or you will need to hit F12 while booting your computer in order to access the boot menu to boot from CD or DVD removable device. This can very easily be covered in another tutorial. Nonetheless, Windows here has finished copying the files over to the drive and is now expanding those files. Those files are actually um, basically encrypted, uh, not really encrypted but compressed into CAB files um, and they are now being expanded so that the installation can take place. As this process can take anywhere from 20 minutes to 2 hours depending on the hardware you're using, we're pretty much going to cut to the chase very shortly to show you uh, exactly what will happen during the installation. This is pretty much standard procedure for a Windows 7 clean install and we'll go through the uh, parts as they come. Here we are at 98% now. just waiting to hit that 100% mark. And there we go. Windows will now start installing features and updates and will begin to complete the in installation by configuring different parts of your operating system that are necessary for you to configure your first user account it will also create an administrator account just like in Windows Vista and Windows XP. After this step takes place, Windows will need to restart the computer to continue. What you need to make sure of is that Windows doesn't boot from the DVD media again. So one way to do this right now while it's restarting is to pull the DVD media out by ejecting the DVD. As you can see Windows will start and we'll get the nice new installation screen or start screen here which looks pretty cool compared to the Windows Vista screen which had no logo 
and the Windows XP screen, which was uh, really a big giant pixelated uh, picture. It's important to note that Windows will be a little bit slow to start since it's still configuring at this point and installing. Here you see that setup is updating the registry settings. As a matter of fact, it's in the process of pretty much creating the registry for you and setting up Windows so that you can use your computer for the first time. When Windows initially installed, it pretty much took a uh, snapshot there of your entire system, all of the devices it could det detect, all of the device drivers in its library, and it is now applying uh, those detections here into the registry, and basically registering the hardware on your computer. So we see uh, it moved a little bit. That usually doesn't happen, um, <laughs> but for some reason in this uh, demonstration it did. All right, and now we've made it. Windows is now starting services. Uh, services are the backbone of Windows. Uh, they control pretty much everything from the user interface uh, to the sound system to uh, the background intelligence uh, service to anything you can imagine services pretty much are what power uh, the Windows back end and they've actually been quite recoded in Windows 7 uh, enhanced and improved upon quite uh, greatly and here we come back again to completing the installation so you see that we are not done just yet but we're getting pretty close okay and now we restart the computer one more time As you can see, we're using VMware, which is a virtual service. Uh, it's a virtualization solution, which allows us to create this demo. As you see, we're starting Windows again here. May, you may find it starts a little bit quicker now. Okay, now you've successfully, once uh, you pass the screen, you have successfully completed the initial installation of Windows 7. And we will go through setting up all of the additional options in our next uh, stage, which is part two of this uh, demonstration here. Please stay, stay tuned, and we will go through the configuration stage.